Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Sam here. Welcome to this video. So, uh, this video is going to be things that need to be fixed in RuneScape. It's going to be version 1. I'm going to be showing be making a, few, like, a load of these in the future. Um, but for now, I wanted to cover some of the basic problems in RuneScape as of now, which really need to be fixed um, because they've been in the game for a while now. Surely I'm not the only one who's been experiencing this and I'm, I'm passionate for the game. And when I see, you know, new content just come out and sort of take over um, these basic errors, it really does frustrate me. I wish Jagex would actually sort out these uh, basic problems first and then uh, move over to the content because you can't build a building uh, without a stable foundation so um, this video is going to be covering the basic problems in the game right now uh, which I know of if you do know any problems yourself feel free to put them in the comments and if a jmod does watch this video uh, they can relate to the comment section and sort of fix them through that but the ones I know so far I'm going to be listing right now so the first problem we have here is what I like to call the ability cursor. This is when you're doing your abilities on your action bar and all of a sudden your cursor will change into one of the abilities such as slice or decimate and uh, there's nothing really you can do. I mean you just click, it does absolutely nothing and the fact that this happens so often and it's been in the game for so long it is really frustrating. So that's why I've decided to include it in this video. Now, Jankus recently did an update to the interfaces so that it saves a bit more space, so it's more compact, but um, there are a few people, including myself, that actually preferred the way it was. As you can see, this is myself at the moment, and I know I can change it about to make it nice and that, but the one I had before was fine, and since this update, it's kind of ruined it, because as, as you can see, I've got all of this space down here, which is completely useless, and it's not just for the invent tab, it's pretty much for the prayers as well. Everything is really small now and uh, you know there should be a toggle option for us to you know either you know choose the size of what everything it could be I mean it could even be just like a, a, a slide bar at the bottom where you can you know move it left and right and it will sort of enlarge as you do it um, that'd be good so you can you know choose exactly what you want your invent to look like or you, any of your interfaces and uh, that'd be really good because you know I'd rather have all of these icons up here you know a bit bigger you know make the most of this space down here and uh, you know they'd be easier to click on because they're really small at the moment and uh, you can you know misclick a lot and it just doesn't look nice with all of this you know empty space down at the bottom so it'd be cool if they can fix that maybe add a toggle so you know people can still choose uh, that'd be really good so the next problem is uh, related to the quick prayers and also the bank options whenever you hover your mouse over your quick prayers icon as you can see it's constantly flickering and uh, sometimes when you click on it it actually doesn't work sometimes you have to spam click it and just hope that you know it turns on your prayers or turns them off depending on you know what you want and uh, this is also related to the bank options as well on the button uh, you've got to spam click these as well to make them work so that's really annoying shouldn't take too long for them to fix it though because it's not something you know too major uh, so yeah that should be fixed soon now with the recent patches Jagex did, they actually removed the equipment screen from the bank. There used to be a little button up here which you could click on to view what you were wearing. However, it's no longer there. I'm not sure if this was intentional for them to actually remove it, but uh, I did prefer it when it was there because you could, you know, put on the items, you can quickly do it through the bank. However, something cool that they could have done as well, if it was still here, would be to be able to equip items or unequip items without actually closing the bank screen. As before, when you equipped an item, it would actually close the bank and you'd have to open it again. So that got quite frustrating. And the fact that you can't actually see too well what you're actually wearing here, it'd just be you know a lot easier if you could just keep the bank screen open whilst equipping things. Or like if they don't want to add that, it's just allow us to see what we're actually wearing. I mean, it's no harm. I'm not entirely sure why we can't even see what we're wearing as you can see here it just says currently unavailable i'm not too sure why that's there um but we just have to wait and see you know if they do re-implement the the gear button here so the next bug that i know is related to the private chat and jagex only recently uh reintroduced this into the game where you can split the private chat and there's already some bugs of it including multiple colors for it and uh, there should only be one and also when you're replying to a friend it doesn't actually come up with their name so it kind of gets a bit confusing to know whether or not you're actually replying to them uh, so they could do with fixing that as soon as possible now this next bug has been in the game for a while now and whenever you're poisoned and use your home teleport emote it actually cancels out the emote however it still does the teleport as you can see on the screen I got poisoned then whilst doing the, the home teleport and it stopped me from doing it however it still does teleport you to the location you wanted to it kind of got a bit confusing because it's been like that for ages and I always thought you know I had to do it again um, and I'm sure most people would have tried doing it again and uh, really just got to stay still so that's a big bug there and they could do a fix in that 
Okay, so this next problem is fairly minor compared to the rest, however a few people told me about it so I thought I'd include it in the video anyway. And that is, uh, once you have your bank open you can no longer move the camera around uh, with the arrow keys or the scroll wheel. So as you can see I am pressing down the keys now and holding down my scroll wheel but nothing is moving on in the background. I'm not too sure if this was intentional by Jagex, however it would be cool to kind of have that as it's always been in the game where you can move the camera around, it just feels more free when you can you know, do that. Um, but either way, I'm not too fussed about that one however it would be kind of cool if they did sort of re-implement that feature uh, so you can always move your camera around no matter what interface you have up so this next problem again is fairly minor however it's quite frustrating when you want to use it and that is when you hover your mouse over your total level as you can see the total XP flashes for like half a second and then it goes away and it's been like this for a couple of weeks now and it is kind of annoying um, the only way to really see your XP is by pressing F1 on your keyboard and then going to summary here and it will tell you there um, but usually when you, uh, you've you always hovered your mouse over your total level it will just stay there and you'll be able to see your XP so the fact that you know it flashes for half a second is annoying so I'm sure this will be an easy fix, it's not too big of a problem, uh, but, but it'd be cool if they could uh, do that as soon as possible. Now this next problem uh, is fairly recent, it was only with the, the latest update in RuneScape and it's to do with the font. Um, they actually changed the font and a lot of people have said it looks blurry and I agree with them. Um, it does look blurry, I'm not too sure why they changed it because it was fine the way it was and uh, yeah this one definitely isn't uh, that nice um, so again this one is an easy fix really just change the font to the way it was before and uh, everyone would be happy that'd be cool if they can do that and uh, yeah there we go for that one so this next one isn't really a bug it's just more of a helpful thing to have and that is to be able to lock your prayers and abilities because when I've been to bosses and I'm clicking fast and uh, I go to click on an icon and it drags it instead of just clicking on it it can lead for me to be getting hit a lot of damage or in some cases dying so it'd be kind of cool to have an option to actually just lock in the prayers and abilities so that you can't actually drag them anymore that would be really really helpful and it shouldn't be too hard to implement either. So the next problem is the minimap black screen, that's what I like to call it as it pretty much is a black screen on the minimap. You can still see people around you and some of the icons but the actual terrain of the map is uh, literally black and I tend to find it happens a lot at the Grand Exchange, I'm not too sure if it's you know frequent at any other places but um, it just tends to happen here. Um, I'm not too sure if this is an easy fix or not, I mean thinking about it. Um, it would seem like it would be easy but uh, it's been in the game for a while so maybe they're fixing it and they're struggling I'm not too sure but it'd be cool if they could fix that as well as soon as possible so that is all the bugs and problems that I know of as of now there probably is you know loads more out there which I haven't covered in this video but that's where you guys come in if you do know any bugs in the game which you want to be you know known to be fixed and please put them in the comments and like I said at the start of this video if a jmod watches this then they might check the comments and see some more so if you do know one and you sort of want to help the game you know make it stable again sort of like it was before RS3 uh, that'd be awesome because you know I really do love this game and it kind of does suck to see it sort of just you know go to waste and of these basic things that are just being missed out so it'd be awesome to hear what you guys think and uh, you know be able to have some more bugs and reports put into the comments so you know we can all work together and sort of fix the game to you know the way it was before so yeah guys that's gonna be it for this video I really hope you've enjoyed it if we can all work together and you know pull out the bugs and fix them that'd be great we can make RuneScape awesome again and the game we love we can move on to really pump out some awesome content thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one